Okay, we will now take the next three problems, problem numbers 10, 11 and 12 of NCRT exercise number 7.2 on integration by the method of substitution for class 12. Okay, the problem number 10. Okay, so let's first write it like this. Let i equals integral 1 over x minus root x dx. If you observe the problem in the denominator, you can easily make it out that root x can be taken as a common factor. So let's do that. 1 by root x. If I take root x as common factor, then I have to write root x minus 1 into dx. Because root x into root x is x and minus sign is there. Root x into 1 is root x. Okay. Now, what substitution you can make? You can just think. I give 10 seconds time. Yeah, just think, think. You also think. What is the substitution that you can do? Yes. Okay. Do like that, no problem. Do like that. Yes. Put root of x minus 1 equals c. See, as long as you get a replacement factor, there's no problem for the substitution. Let me just check it. Put root x minus 1 equals t. Okay. And now after substituting, what is the next step? You have to differentiate with respect to x. Differential coefficient of root x is 1 by 2 root x. And differential coefficient of 1 is 0. I am not going to write it. Into dx equals dt. Because this is dt by dx. dx have taken that side. But if you look at the problem, you just have 1 by root x dx. Not 1 by 2 root x dx. So you can take the 2 onto that side. Or 1 by root x dx equals 2 times of dt. You know by cross multiplying 2 root x dt becomes. So 2 root x dt. Same. So you got the replacement factor. Okay. So now you come and substitute again. In the problem. You come back to the problem for substitution. So here. 1 over root x minus 1. Root x minus 1 is t into 1 by root x dx. 1 by root x dx is 2 times of dt. So that is 2 dt. And 2 is a constant. Take it outside. Integral 1 by t dt. Or i equals 2 times of log t plus c. Or i equals 2 times of log of, what is the substitution for t? root x minus 1 to the base e plus c. So this is the answer. So, <coughs> note that in this step, if the denominator has x minus root x, it's better to take root x as common factor and put the remaining as t, that is root x minus 1 as t. Differentiate, you get the replacement factor and you can do by the method of substitution. Okay. So problem number 10 is over. Now come to the problem number 11. 11 is let i be equal to integral x by root of x plus 4 and x is always positive. Then only okay, it is possible to integrate this function. Okay. x is greater than 0. Put x plus 4 equals t. This implies on, upon differentiation dx equals dt. Correct? Because differential coefficient of x is 1, 4 is 0 and dt is dt by dx. Cross multiply. Just because it just becomes dx equals dt. And if you have put x plus 4 as t, that is, uh, if x plus 4 equals t, I write also, if x plus 4 equals t, then what is the value of x? x becomes equals to t minus 4. So, i becomes integral x in place of x i put t minus 4 divided by root of x plus 4 that is t into you know i have to put dx here i have to put in the integral sign i should put dx there into dx and what is dx dx is dt 
Now A is to separate and uh, you know it is T by root T or I equals integral T by root T dt minus integral 4 by root T dt. This is separated or I equals I equals T by root T that is integration of T into the denominator root T as it goes to the numerator it becomes T to the power of minus half into dt because root t is t to the power of half as it goes to the numerator it becomes minus half minus 4 is a constant you can always keep it outside the integral sign integral 1 by root 2 dt it is uh, 1 by root t dt that is t to the power of minus half dt as root t goes to the numerator it becomes t to the power of minus half so i equals integral this is power is 1 here this has got t to the power of 1 into t to the power of half makes t to the power of half because a to the power of m into a to the power of n is a to the power of m plus n 1 plus minus half that is 1 minus half that is half dt minus 4 times of t to the power of minus half dt ok now you integrate i equals t to the power of half plus 1 divided by half plus 1 minus 4 times of t to the power of minus half plus 1 divided by minus half plus 1 plus c that is i equals t to the power of 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 ok minus 4 times of t to the power of 1 minus half is half divided by half plus c so i equals 2 by 3 into t to the power of 3 by 2 what is t x plus 4 2 by 3 into x plus 4 to the power of 3 by 2 minus <coughs> now this 2 goes to the numerator 2 goes to the numerator it becomes 2 into 4 8 into x plus 4 to the power of half plus c that is the final answer ok right now go to the next problem that is problem number 12 of exercise number 7.2 let i be equal to integral x cube minus 1 to the power of 1 by 3 into x to the power of 5 dx okay uh, I will write it like this let i be equal to x cube minus 1 to the power of 1 by 3 this x to the power of 5 is written as x square into 3x square dx uh, x square into 3x cube dx because you see here x square into x cube makes x to the power of 5 but I have added one 3 here so what I do is I divide by 3 also so that 3 and 3 cancel out and you get back this the purpose of writing in this way is to make this fit for substitution how it gets fitted for substitution you see if I put x cube minus 1 as t then differentiating this implies upon differentiate, differentiation differential coefficient of x cube is 3x square minus 1 is 0 into dx equals dt differential coefficient of 1 is 0 so 3x square dx is dt so I can replace this 3 uh, 3x square yeah I will uh, ok I will make it as x cube into 3x square ok doesn't make any difference x cube into x square remains as x to the power of 5 only so that I can replace this 3x square dx by dt and I have been left out with this x cube so from here you can see that if x cube minus 1 is t then what is the value of x cube x cube is t plus 1 so I can also express I got a chance to express x cube in terms of t so x cube minus 1 to the power of 1 by 3 this is, a, this is t this x cube is t plus 1 
3x square dx is dt. Okay. What I have done? I have written x to the power of 5 as split it as x cube into x square. x cube into x square makes x to the power of 5. 3 is extra here. So that extra 3 is compensated by dividing it by 3 in the denominator. So that 3 and 3 cancel out. x cube into x square is x to the power of 5 dx. What I do now is put x cube minus 1 this portion of the problem. This portion of the problem. x cube minus 1 as t. And differentiate. Differentiating x cube. 3x square minus differential coefficient of 1 is 0 equals dt by dx. The dx I have taken relatives, so it becomes 3x square dx equals dt, which can be replaced by dt here. And x cube is t plus 1. So, how the problem is now? So, i equals integral 1 by 3 outside, and this is t to the power of 1 by 3. This is t to the power of 1 by 3 and x cube is into t plus 1 <coughs> into 3x square dx is dt. Okay. So i equals 1 by 3 into now separate t to the power of 1 by 3 into t. t to the power of 1 by 3 into t dt. This is integral. I am separating the integral also. This integral t to the power of 1 by 3 into 1, that is t to the power of 1 by 3 into dt. t to the power of 1 by 3 into t dt, first integral, plus t to the power of 1 by 3 into 1, is just t to the power of 1 by 3 into dt. Or i equals 1 by 3 into integral. How much is t to the power of 1 by 3? See here, t to the power of 1 by 3 into t. This t has got power 1. So, you have to add the powers now. t to the power of 1 by 3 plus 1. That is 3 to the power of 3 is the LCM. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 1 into 1 is 1. Plus 1 div 3 divided by 1. 3, in, 3 ones are 3 now. So it becomes 3 to the power of 3 plus 1. 4 by 3. 3 to the power of 1 by 3 plus 1. Okay. Just check. Yes. 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 Yes, okay. Confirm, yes. Now t to the power of 4 by 3 dt plus integral t to the power of 1 by 3 dt. Now use power rule. Use power rule of integration. So let me just clear this. That's fine. So i equals 1 by 3 into t to the power of 4 by 3 plus 1 divided by 4 by 3 plus 1 plus t to the power of 1 by 3 plus 1 divided by 1 by 3 plus 1 plus c. So i equals 1 by 3 times of t to the power of again 3 is LCM. How much is 4 by 3 plus 1? 7 by 3. Okay. 7 by 3 by 7 by 3 plus how much is 1 by 3 plus 1? Hmm. See, if you have any confusion, just add 1 by 3 plus 1. Take LCM. 3 is LCM. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Plus 3. That is 4 by 3. So, t to the power of 4 by 3 by 4 by 3. Plus. Or I equals 1 by 3 times of. Now, this goes to the numerator. 3t to the power of 7 by 3 by 7 plus 3 goes to the numerator 3t to the power of 4 by 3 by 4 plus c. The last step you have to substitute for c uh, sorry for t. So i equals 1 by 3 into 3 times of what is t you had kept? We had kept t as x cube minus 1. So x cube minus 1 to the power of 7 by 3 by 7 plus 3 into x cube minus 1 to the power of 4 by 3 by 4 plus c. That's going to be the final answer. Okay? Yeah. Take a good look at all the steps.